Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today is Watercolor Wednesday. Well, every day is almost Watercolor Wednesday. And I'm working on very loose, simple uh, watercolor Black Eyed Susans today with just a few colors, a couple brushes. Very simple, very easy, anyone can do. Also, please don't forget to check out my Patreon. You can see it in my About page and in the description box. I have exclusive videos there weekly. Um, if you join that. So, let's get started. Okay guys, I hope this is filming. I'm getting frustrated again. I was on the phone with Apple so many times trying to fix this darn phone and it's just not happening right now. So I'm going to be filming this right now with my actual camera, my SLR camera, and I'm hopes that this comes out okay. <laughs> I've gone through three videos and everything's been crashing and Thank you guys for being on my channel and supporting me because uh, I feel frustrated beyond right now that I can't produce good quality content because of the technical problems because this guy wants to overheat. They did diagnose it and say that it wasn't an internal problem. I have to basically erase my phone and reboot it and I have to do that with them so hopefully I can get that done today. We went over a bunch of stuff the other day, try and fix it, because filming with the camera is a little more time consuming and I have to get less videos out because the cameras go into the computer and then you gotta go into iMovie and then it takes forever to make the movie and then download onto YouTube. I know it's ranting and babbling on, but it is really time consuming. And considering that I have a lot of client work to do, um, it's really cumbersome to get it done, but I feel obligated to, you know, continue showing some videos. So I'm not going to do a super long one today because of the constraints of what I got to do. And I had started a bunch of videos that just flopped because of the camera situation. So, Arch 100% cotton paper, cold, uh, cold press. Um, just showing some paints that I have here, but I'll go over them as I use them. I'm probably, I'm doing the Black Eyed Susan, so basically it's going to be Cadman Yellow Deep, throw those guys away. Probably use some of the peacock blue, maybe a little Van Dyke brown, you know, and then maybe a little red thrown in there to get to the reddish yellow part of colors. And I'm just, I have no rhyme and reason how I'm going to do them. I mean, I've done so many paintings, you know, you can draw like the little, it looks like a gumdrop and the little leaves going here. I just start sketching out how I want to just throw them down. Sometimes I work that way, sometimes I don't. And I might use a fat brush today. Um, the Princeton number 12, well, the Neptune series. I like the Neptune series and the Velvet Touch series. This is that deep yellow, and it's very bright. Which are black eyed students are pretty bright. But I might add a little, this magenta, just to tone it down a bit, a little orangey. And I'm just taking, see this brush is, it's just, it's pretty watery, but not super watery, the paint consistency. You gotta play around with that. And I am going to just use this brush to my advantage. I'm just gonna, I'm actually standing up as I'm painting this, so I'm gonna push down and pull back. Push down and pull back. You see that? These are gonna be really loose Black Eyed Susans. So they're a little pointy. If you want to go back in on the bottom edges and go like that, make them less pointy, you can do that. You see? I didn't even flinch and it went down again. Like again, so they're pointy, so you can just go back on the bottoms and go back up them with the color. How was that? Sometimes the bigger brushes, you know, you're gonna have like a more goofier, not goofier, but much looser flower, but it's kind of the point. You can make it skinnier by just holding, I see, I always tell people, I use my pinky as my guide holding the brush from standing up. And I like to stand up to paint a lot. If I can, um, it just makes your paintings looser. That's a little trick I talk about it all the time. So a lot of these are showing them like, you know, th the top of the Black Eyed Susan would be up there and then these guys would be on the bottom and not showing it straight on. I never really see them that way in my garden. They're getting ready to come out just almost there. 
the hydrangeas are out. If you go on my stories of YouTube, you will see that I picked some hydrangea. Well, I didn't pick it in the stories, but I did show you my hydrangea bush. Put another one up here. This brush is pretty fat. Sorry, it needs to go on a diet. <laughs> and add a little more yellow. I'm gonna go down here a little bit. This is one way to make them really loose. A bigger brush. And I'll do another one over in here. So you can see I'm kind of going in a cascading upward kind of motion with this. Like I said, I don't have a drawing. I'm just kind of, I did sketch like you saw the lines, just to give me a guide. I might add a little more this magenta, a little more orange. Oh, that's a little too dark. That's okay, we can work with that. This is drying fairly quickly. This wasn't super wet. But I'm just tapping in some of this, just a little darker tone in here. Just from the center outward, as you see. So I like to do that. If you want to even get even more deeper orange in there, you can do that too. But, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to water that down a little bit. Put that back in there. I might do a little one over in here, actually. Okay. If you're going to put the black in for the little gumdrop part, I'd wait till this part is dry, because it's going to bleed into the flower and it's not going to look pretty. At this point, we can do some green. I have the peacock blue that I've mixed with some of this deep yellow. I get this nice green. Now, this, the... Um, Black Eye Susan leaves are really dark green. So I'll get some more of this glue. And I'm gonna actually grab some Van Dyke Brown. It's my new color from Holbein. I'm gonna put some more peacock blue up here. So grabbing more of the peacock blue, a little of this Van Dyke Brown, and then I'll go in and add some more of that yellow. It's a constant adding to get that dark tone. Get a little magenta. And there we go. Got a nice dark green. And I have a nice tip, a good belly. So I'm just going to loosely just use the tip. See? Pull that down. If it's hitting into the other one, that's fine. And here you can just make these other leaves. I mean, stems going outward. Pull that one down. And here you can make those leaves. They're just like a typical big old leaf like that. A little pointy on the end. Put some going downward. I don't want to crowd it too much. Just trying to show you the flower and the leaves. Now I might want to add a little more brown, a little more red, a little more blue. Touch of yellow, get that even darker. Green. Like I said, we're getting this fairly loose. You can just use a brush go like that and you have a cool leaf, right? This fat brush. So one time you don't need to be on a diet is when you're a brush. The rest of us <laughs> working on the Corona diet. I don't know about you, but I'm working on it. So just adding this leaves in like this. Really loose. If you want to go in, well, that's still got some water on it. You can clean up your brush. Get some clean water on it. Go in and hit that right next to it. Just move the paint around. That's how you get that nice bleed. Really loose flower bleed. 
I'm just pushing the water around. And I grab some more paint and push that around. So it has this loose quality to it. Going in and some more. It's supposed to just be loose and fun. I know people say loose is harder. It can be. Because you got to know how to edit. But that's where practice comes in. And that's what this kind of is. Practice painting. See it's a little watery over here. I'm just going to go in and add. At this point, too, you can go in and take your brush. It's a pretty, fairly big brush. Grab some of that yellow. Mix a little magenta. And you can just, <laughs> my favorite thing to do, a brush on a brush and tap in some of that splattering color. Have some fun with the painting today. <laughs> my singing is terrible. And then we go and add some more red. Make a little more orange, a little thicker paint. And we can do the same thing with the green. Is that blue, yellow, blue, Van Dyke Brown. Tap in some green. Okay, at this point, I'll grab a different brush. I will use my Staying in the Neptune series, number eight. I'm going to grab black paint. I have it over here. I shouldn't, I'm trying to activate it. Get a little water in here. And we're going to do that little, like I said, it's a gumdrop kind of shape. And I'll leave a little halo on top. A gumdrop type shape. Again. Keep putting that gumdrop. This is really loose. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's just like that gumdroppy shape. I'm just throwing that in. This is a real simple tutorial. Oh, look at that. How cute that is. And like I said, you can go in and see it's kind of flattened out. You can make the yellow a little darker. And you can go in and you can add some strokes. You can zoom in a little bit. Just going like this, coming from the center. If you want to get serious and make it more like a because they're like basically a daisy but I like the looseness of this it just has this fun feeling to it go ahead and add that even darker if you want just a little bit darker towards the center see that a little more red in there Magenta, I add a little magenta. It has that black eyed Susan look. I did a little too much there. I'll just add a little more yellow paint. Oh, the sky forgot a gumdrop. See what happens? And you got your cute black eyed Susans. Just a loose, simple tutorial on these guys today. And I hope you enjoyed it, despite my technical difficulties. It will happen. It will get fixed. <laughs> and I can get back to normal with my beautiful, I don't know if they're beautiful, some people have some amazing edited videos, but my time is limited. So there you go. I'm just adding a little more leaves in here. Um, brown got a little too much. The yellow and the blue. Got some more of that peacock blue. 
Now you could have washed a blue background in if you wanted to early in the beginning. A pale blue background. If you wanted to do something like that. That would be nice. Just tapping in some of that. And I'll tap in some brown too. Just giving it a little more movement. But there you go. Let me zoom back out. Oops. There's your loose black eyed Susan watercolor Wednesday tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this despite my crazy technical difficulties. <laughs> Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I'm going to try and work on something really cute this week with that. Um, I will be doing those tutorials every Thursday. It comes with a PDF download for like the sketch part of it. If you don't need that, you don't have to download that. If you're on the uh, sketchbook tier, you get that. If you're on the student tier, you get this download and the exclusive tutorial. And if you're on the Super Patreon tier, you get exclusive... Um, download once a month from me that I've created that you can use for your personal use. So go check it out, please. It's on the About page and description box in this tutorial. Um, thanks you guys so much for your patience with my crazy technical difficulties and thank you guys so much for being such great supporters of my channel. Have a great day. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.